Happy Bitcoin halving, everybody. Congratulations to me. Congratulations to you if you are a Bitcoiner. Woo! It's like Happy New Year. It's like, you know, World Cup every four years, uh, yeah, tentatively. That's after every 210,000 blocks. You know, 10 minutes makes one block. That's how a miner mine blocks or Bitcoin mining pool mine blocks. And uh, the block contains transactions, Bitcoin transactions, my transaction, your transactions. And we've had the Bitcoin halving. The fourth one, to be factual, to be frank. And I say huge congratulations to all of you. You're welcome to Das. I am Olu Ashegun Ori of Fair. Some people call me Olu, as the Niger people and the African people like to call me. And my friends for Yankee and abroad, we say Olu. I am your hustle, Alaji. And you know that uh, when it comes to top notch cryptocurrency education with Bitcoin on top of the food chain, I bring that to you unfiltered, unadulterated, anytime, any day. <laughs> This is Pop Central DSTV channel 189, the only platform for the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and of course on DSTV that shows you exclusive content about Bitcoin and crypto. At a time that Nigerian government will be issuing licenses. Wonderful. You're welcome to that. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, I'm so happy we had a Bitcoin halving event. It was awesome. Were you there? You're not there. I didn't see you there. <laughs> I had fun. I was sweating. Uh, a lot of people came to support. Uh, it was a very tiny event, but it was it was successful. It was very nice. It was the fantastic Pop Central team did awesome. And shout out to uh, Two Three Four Exchange. They were our sponsor. They did awesome. And Slick TV. Uh, so that's uh, respectively Shondania and Malik. Um, I'm so happy. I'm really really happy. What happened during the halving? Should I tell you guys? It was so interesting. On top of the block heights, 840,000, we had the Bitcoin halving at about uh, one, nine minutes, almost 10 minutes past 1 a.m. Nigerian time. It was so beautiful. It was, it was so beautiful. That's about 70 minutes. No, 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 more than that. Hours, long, long hours ago. Now, that block... The Bitcoin halving block was mined by a mining pool called Via BTC. Via BTC. And the block contained about 3,050 transactions. And what a lucky block, you know? Total fees was about, uh, I think, 37.6 BTC in one block. Crazy, that's about $2.4 million. That's the halving block itself. It's around 50,000 block height. Mad. And, you know, the fee span between 100 sats to as huge as 3 million sats. So it was quite expensive. I was looking at transaction fees a few minutes before the halving, at the halving uh, on the dot, and then a few minutes after, it was crazy. Skyrocketed on the main pool. So about 140 something dollar mad like it was crazy it was crazy it was crazy i've never seen anything like that in btc but um it was also interesting transactions as I've, I've really dropped now in in uh fees i believe um let me take a look at what's going on uh, is my data up okay anyway let's keep talking about the halving that block was very interesting so the subsidy in the block was Okay, plus fees and subsidy via BTC got about 40 Bitcoin, 0.7, 40.7 Bitcoins, about $2.6 million in that one block that they mined. There's money in mining business. If you're a Bitcoin miner, you should be making a lot of money. And that's my concern about the, 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 the energy that we, we waste, we dissipate in Nigeria. You know, those oil companies that flare gas, what's going on? Why are you not mining Bitcoin? Communities that have substantial light coming out of their transformer and you have enough leftovers. Why are you not sending some kilowatts to you know, the mining rig, you know? If you're lucky to not be under the band, is it band A or something that has been increased to about 225 naira per kilowatt now? If you're still under 65 naira, it's still a good number. It's still good money. You know what I mean? 
It's crazy. So, um, and, and, and if you don't understand all I've been talking about, I'm talking about the process of Bitcoin mining reward, which is a subsidy for doing the work, for putting the proof of work in, get cuts in half. The first set of reward was 50 Bitcoins. Those ones, they enjoy <laughs> 50 BTC. Crazy. And then, you know, the first halving cut out in half, and it was 25. That's 2012. And in 2016, it became 12.5. And in 2020, we had this 6.25. Now, this is just 2024. You and I are still alive. It's already 3.25 BTC. It's getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And by 2028, approximately four years when we will be having another 210,000 blocks, it will be cut down from 3.125 divided by half, which means it will be scarce here. And, and that's the way it's going to affect its supply and, and, and the price. Because some of you will be thinking, you know, well, how would the price go up? Or how would the price be affected? So let me paint you a picture. If you are a Bitcoin miner, right? And you use electricity to mine Bitcoin. And then your electricity costs don't change. Because the quality of work you have to put in to get that reward, as at yesterday, that was two points. Uh, 6.125 is the same quality of work you will put in to get 3.125 in reward. There is no way you can go and reduce the light and say you don't put light in the miner so you can you can see some things. You will not see anything. No. <laughs> yeah, it's the same work. So because they put the same work in, the same energy, it, it, it's going to be very... Um, they will have to contemplate if they will sell the bitcoins that they mine, because naturally, maybe you, you, you mine bitcoin. You know, if it was the early days before 2012 that it was 50 BTC, you can decide to sell 20 and keep 30. You know, you still stash, you know, enough. And, and okay, let's even say as recent as 6.25, you can decide to sell four and keep two, you know. But now it's 3.125. If you sell one inside now, two go remain. 0.125. <laughs> It's so interesting. It's becoming scarcer. So tell me if you were me or if I were you and we are both mining, what are you going to do? You're going to sell what you got? Or you will hold onto it? Knowing the value of what you are mining, the, the, the scarciest asset of the world, if I can use that word, the best performing asset in the world, the market cap of Bitcoin beats that of Nigeria as a nation. Twice of Nigeria's market valuation is the worth of BTC in the market today. And less than 300 million people are Bitcoiners on earth. And on this universe of God Almighty, we have about 8 billion people. So I'm going to ask you, would you sell your Bitcoin at the current price? For me, most likely, no. And the smart miners would do all the work, spend all the money. Most likely, they, would, they won't. So naturally, because they're not selling, you know, it becomes scarcer. And some people will sell real quick because, you know, there's going to be... Um, you know, the price may not really go up. It may not really go down. The ones that entered from like 61, that was their entry level. And it's now 64. They want to take that profit, especially the big players. Maybe you came in with like 100 BTC strong real quick. $3,000 multiplied by 100. That's already enough number for you. So you can exit. Boom, you got some money. And it keeps tanking because Bitcoin derives its value from people who want to buy it and people who are willingly selling it. You buy, it goes up. 
you sell, the value drops. You know, it's like your your supermarket. If you have goods in your supermarket, it has value. More people are going to come and they're going to buy some stuff from you. But as they are buying, you are collecting the money, you are not restocking. The, 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 the supermarket becomes more, it becomes empty. It becomes empty. Till the last customer comes and take what you got on the shelf, then it has lost every, every value that it's got. Who's going to come there? When people all speak from afar, there's nothing in the supermarket. Boom. It has lost its value. So when people opt out of Bitcoin, it loses value. But the adoption of Bitcoin keeps growing because more people come in because of what Bitcoin is. The value of Bitcoin is in the network. The fact that you can send money all over the world is not even about the price. That's, a, that's an RTGS. A real-time settlement service. A real-time settlement infrastructure that can move a billion dollars, ten billion dollars without noise and settle in 10 minutes with tiny transaction fees with nobody practically knowing in an almost anonymous way. Why is the word almost? It's because you will see something on the blockchain, on the Bitcoin blockchain, definitely. So that, that reason alone, I can make you send money to Argentina, all around Africa, without the power of a centralized government, without any counterparty risk. Usually counterparty risk go there because if you send money through traditional finance, they're swift that will stop the money. You feel me? Like, if they don't even like your face, they might stop your transaction. Network is just bad. You know, go work. Bank, bank closes by 4 p.m. It's a wrap. You can't take money no more. You know? And the fact that you can send Bitcoin by 2 a.m. and somebody will. <laughs> Life don't finish. <laughs> We're in a new era. So you got to wake up. So it's going to be scarcer overall because the network is now a net worth that people now opt into. Obviously, fiat is debasing. Nobody wants to keep Naira or even dollar. You can see the BDC guys are complaining. Don't worry, I got friends. They're complaining all the time. Because some people told them to sell their dollar. People sold dollar just about a week, two weeks ago. Everybody don't check BC now. You can see what is happening. It's been said. We don't know what the fact is because the CB and governor debunked it. But it's been said. IMF kind of said something. They leaked something, you know, that... The Nigerian government is defending the Naira with its reserve, yeah, external reserve, external foreign reserve that has foreign currency. But the central bank governor said no. That's not what the market is saying. The dollar is going down to Naira. But in the last two days, it has gone up tremendously. I hope they will not say it is the crypto companies because you, you I, I, I mean the biggest player is out people are still using some that are not supposed to be legit but it's all right but let's tell ourselves the truth what are we manufacturing we import everything practically to almost everything everything is imported so we are not taking in foreign direct investment we are not taking in transactions the FX is not coming into the places it's supposed to come. I can't even do business now. I start earning dollars. It's very strict. It's difficult. I don't know why. Okay, I have a dollar card. I don't just want to give any bank advice. I have a dollar card. I can't take money out of my dollar card. I have to only spend it online. I can't withdraw it. And I have to buy the dollar on the street to fund my dollar card. All of those things don't happen in BTC. I just have to buy Bitcoin and move money all over the world. I can spend. I can pay. I can get, travel to any country without holding cash and convert to cash wherever I go. All I need is 12 seed phrase in my head. If you can remember 12 people's name, you can remember your private key 12 seed phrase. Yeah. So there's nothing that young government can eventually do about it. This Alvin is very, very important. Very, very important. It's something that we should be discussing at the Federal Executive Council. The president should be asking, hey, you people put 10% capital gain. 
inside the finance act. He told me to sign it. I have signed it now. So what's up? What's up, Utunu? Where the money at? Nigerian government need to make money. Okay, we are willing to pay, right? But now we have it don't happen. Should I go go pay ten percent? We are no see. <laughs> what am I trying to say? The importance of Bitcoin cannot be overemphasized. And you undermine it, you undermine yourself. You try to ban it, you ban yourself out of its opportunity. So everybody should just take advantage of it. Real quick, especially our government. Oh, I should sit up. Well, that's what my producer is telling me. My back is aching me a little bit because I had a long talk day at the, at the, <laughs> at the Bitcoin halving. But yes, uh, thank you very much. It's so I can look good, you know. So at the end of the day, the halving is one of the most important thing that has happened in the history of money in 2024. Take it seriously. Quickly go to X or Google and go and do research about the word Bitcoin halving, the impact on the world right now. Everybody is buying Bitcoin, especially the biggest investors on earth. Very soon, until your bank starts sending you, yes, you can convert your Naira to Bitcoin before you go wake up. <laughs> And I'll go pay you pass transaction fees, etc. And then you may not even own the Bitcoin. Ah, I'm busting them. Yeah. Come catch me until you give me money, you banks. I will stop talking. <laughs> wow, it's the digital asset show. Happy Bitcoin halving. Too much information on this place. We're not playing. I want to use this opportunity to say congratulations to Dr. Timmy Agama, the newly appointed Security Exchange Commission Director General. My Oga. You were on this show. You give us info. And I'm so happy to be associated with you, at least from our far most times, because you're always working. But there is no other person that understands the blockchain or, you know, cryptocurrency as much as you. So I'm so glad to know you. I learned a lot from you um, the last time we met in your office, in your capacity as the managing director of the capital market. And I'm happy now that you are in charge of the SEC. Good dose, but by you, Sabidi Walk. And I believe that your channel will impact Nigeria. Nigeria will generate revenue rightly. Players will be in the space and they will do what's right. And there will be positive advantage for local companies. I am praying and hoping that um, the, trend, um, the registration fee be reconsidered, you know, and maybe categorized for you know, level playing field for new entrants. It's a big market out there. We pray for you to succeed. International companies that want to play must also give opportunity for local content to prevail. So once more, Dr. Timmy Agama, congratulations on your new appointment by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as a DGSEC. On that note, we will go for a short break. I am Oluwa Shegun. This is DAS Digital Assets Show, your one-stop shop. The only show that takes you on that exhilarating ride of the blockchain. Bitcoin! 21 million. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Yes, you're welcome back to Digital Assets Show. Thank you for sticking with me on that break. Happy Bitcoin halving. The fourth one. On the block height, 840,000. Some hours ago, we had the Bitcoin halving. It was mad. That block was mined by VIA BTC, V I A B T C, with 3,050 transactions inside of it. Hey, whoa. What are you doing? Are you mining Bitcoin in Nigeria? How at me. We'll put you on. So, I have a guest in the studio, a very intelligent young lady. I call her the leader of the pack of the Gen Zs, but she is a mature individual, of course, and a young soul, a life coach, an accountability partner, and of course, a leader of a community, a fast-growing community called the Nigerian Nigeria Women Bitcoiners. Her name is Binta Bulama. She's also a public speaker. What's up, Binta? You're welcome to Digital Asset Show. Thank you very much. How are you? I am fine. I'm very good. <laughs> I just love to talk to you. You know, you did a reset person. Person will quickly start to do this serious. Binta, for those that don't know you, can you do a proper introduction of who you are? You have just like a few, maybe like 30 seconds. Give us a background and then what you do uh, real quick. 
Okay. My name is Binta Bulama. I am a life coach, an accountability partner, and a future Bitcoin educator. Yeah. I love that. Succinct and precise. How did you dabble into being a life coach at a very young age? And then how has that impacted your life? Keep it short and simple. <sighs> the story is very long actually, but like you said, keep it short and simple. I would just say it's my calling in life. Everybody have they all have their different you know, life purpose, right? So this is mine. I mean, it took me a while to get here. A lot of struggles, confusion, frustration, and all that. But by the grace of God, we are here. <laughs> like, like, what was that impacting moment that made you say, you know what, I am going to be impacting people's life. I'm going to. What was that thing that triggered it? What? When did you look into the mirror and say, this is me, this is what I would be, and nothing would derail me from this part. I will impact in people's life, coach them, um, help them succeed. Because that's at the detriment of you, yeah. uh, of your own life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was a social media influencer before. Again, so at some point, the space was just too corrupt because there are guys that would approach me and all they think about is sex. I don't know if I'm supposed to use that word here. Oh, what you mean? Right? This is, this is the show to use the right word. Exactly. Go ahead. So they see me sex. That was all. You'd be fine girl. Are you fine? It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. <laughs> the, the real thing was that I was questioning it a lot. Like, why am I attracting this kind of people? Mm, that's unique. Yeah, why is it that, you know, valuable people men and women were not seeing mm. why is it all these liabilities basically that's what i like to call them though people that don't have value to one's life so why what is it that i'm doing because i wasn't exposing my body online so it's not as if they saw my body part and then decided to whatever that was not the case so what was the reason and i was there for a while and i found out that most you know they say birds of the same feathers flock What's together right, right? So as a social media influencer, most of them are not doing what they're supposed to do. Mm. Do you understand? So Because you need to survive by getting ads and all that and, and these things in the real world need some level of exactly. you know association and relationship. Exactly. You know, building. And yeah. To be an influencer, money is involved. Mm. Do you understand? To go to nice places, take pictures and all that money is involved. Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? And the cost some girls, right, they needed to they needed money to fund their lifestyle to keep being an influencer. Right. So maybe there are no money opportunities or they release I don't know. They decided to do things the wrong way. So because most of them were doing that, people automatically thought that everybody in that space mm. that's what they're doing. It becomes a general stigma. Exactly. Yeah. And I didn't want that for And myself. then and, and then, you know, the people that play in that space to, you know, smash Chicks, let me just go yeah. directly like that. Just think, ah, this one, I I got five of them, I can get out just by offering this. Thank you. Like, to be honest, women should avoid this kind of men because mm. they're more used to look, mm. right? They always come and tell you, see, I've been with this person, I've been with that person. Mm. So, you know, I don't know, maybe to make you feel special or, because that was what they were doing. They would mm. show me all the end. That's why, if I leave you, leave these guys. Because they will always broadcast, they will always tell people, mm. right, that they've been with you and all that. And they usually have evidence to show. So, so I, they actually did that, you know. So that was not the life I wanted for myself. And mm. yeah, I'm a big dreamer. I'm a long term. I know what I want out of life. And that was not doing it for me. So I had to rethink, I had wow. to reset my, what do I want out of so I like to call that my transition process. It was it was very tough because I didn't even know the next step. Mm. Do you understand? So it <laughs> see Jesus Christ is my is my biggest supporter, my coach, my mentor because no human could have helped me through that except God. Wow. So this is just a message for people that are looking for you know their life's purpose. Just roll with God. Do you understand? He created you, right? He knows why. He brought you to this earth. Mm -hmm. So if you move with him, he's gonna tell you, right? right. So yeah. that was exactly that was how it was for me. I became more intentional with God, working with God, silent. You see, the Bible says, um, 
seek first the kingdom of God and mm-hmm. every other thing will be added unto you. Mm-hmm. The people were just talking about it before. I thought it was just, mm, they're just talking. But it's really you know, Wow, it's real. Seek God, every other thing. Actually, hold your thoughts. I feel like I am in a sermon session. And I've never felt like this on this show before. This is a Bitcoin education show, digital asset show. And and this is a different ballgame. Yeah. So, I love what you're doing. I love your personality mm-hmm. at a very young age. Yeah. Can I ask you your age again on TV? Well, okay. I've, I've had interviews where I said my age. So everybody... I mean, I know. I watched you once. I heard. But I just want to hear it again on my show. So... So I, I will know if this brilliance is real or, you know, you know what I mean? I'm 24 years old. Awesome. Now, let's pick it from there. Okay. Whew, a lot of 24 years old don't do this. And uh, kudos to you. Thank How you. How does this translate into wanting to be a woman Bitcoiner? You know, I'll tell you my story quickly. I reached out to you on yeah. LinkedIn. It was yeah. beautiful. And in about a week, yeah. you have transformed the vision of educating women from no participant to about over a thousand participants. How have you chosen how I mean what was the what was that turn point to add this pathway to your career to what you want to be doing to become I mean a Bitcoin educator for women and how are you, how do you intend or how are you already connecting the values that you offer in being an accountability coach, in being a life coach with this purpose, with what is going on right now? I'm talking about the Nigerian Women Between Us community. Yeah, we're going to go on a short break and when we come back, our mic just got broken, but it's okay. But, but, but Binta, you got my question, right? We're going to be right back. Let's go on a break. We're going to be right back real quick. We are back. We are back. You ish coiners. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted to spoil the microphone. But that was awesome, Binta. So because we don't have time, yeah. let's quickly talk about the, the wonderful community that has been built. Okay. The Nigerian Women Bitcoiners community. I love that so much. And uh, I, I just asked you, I'll just reiterate for the people that just joined us. Okay. Um, how are you using your life coaching experience mm-hmm. um your uh, to to you know influence ladies to learn about bitcoin nigerian nigerian women bitcoiners because you yourself i know i know you're also in the group learning about bitcoin so yeah. fast um how are you connecting the two and and what are the objectives of the nigerian women bitcoiners community okay first of all I'm very passionate about um, creating men, Gen Z, basically, because it's like this generation, they've almost lost their way <laughs> and it's sickening, you understand? So I took it upon myself to, you know, create um, Gen Z men and women of value, especially the women, do you understand? Because it's, money is needed in this life and talking about value, value, do this, do that, do this, whatever, right? It's not enough if there's no money. Mm-hmm. I cannot be telling you, don't do this, don't do that, and then there's mm-hmm. nothing to you know, support that movement because mm-hmm. we all need money, right? Mm-hmm. So I've been questioning myself. I mean, I've written e-books on, I have this one, Financial Blueprint, right? Just, I just, you know, from the things that I've done in the past to make money, and I just compiled everything for women to, you know, start something and all that, right? But that was not enough. With the whole currency, whatever, inflation, it wasn't making sense. Mm. You know, make, making money in Naira, Naira it's not plenty sense hmm. it's not making plenty yeah, sense yeah. <laughs> do you understand so I was always at the um, Bitcoin having event I explained the whole mind thing because this is where everything starts right mm-hmm. so I was looking for ways how can we you know how can I make wealth yes how can I create wealth because I have dreams I have cars I want to drive. I have houses I want to... You know, I like soft life. You get. So what can I do? Do you understand? And also help these, you know, these young women, basically. And as God will have it, see, this God takes care of me. 
<laughs> he just brought this whole beat scoring education thing, just boom, bean to take. And you know one thing about God, right? If you ask him for something, if you ask him for a cake, he's going to give you ingredients to bake the cake. He'll never give you the cake. If you ask him for money, he'll give you opportunities. His money is not going to fall from the sky, mm -hmm. right? So this whole Bitcoin education thing is just God giving us we valuable women and men, mostly women actually, right? Mm -hmm. The chance to create goodwill the right way. Like we don't have to sell ourselves because is. <laughs> I know your gender, Sha, you guys can be very funny and wicked sometimes, you know, because you guys use it to your advantage. Some will, not all. I'm not a part I, of that. Yeah, I know, I know. But there are some guys there that are, whew, you understand I me? Agree. Yeah, exactly. So they capitalize on, I mean, women need, we need taking care so of So what you're trying to say is Bitcoin education is a pathway to financial exactly. freedom. Exactly. Independence of of women financials and, exactly. and, and and the fact that you can you know life coach them yeah. into being accountable into you know focusing on learning about money yeah. it was a beautiful thing that bitcoin education came to you and now you're learning bitcoin yeah so um how has that impacted you and the women young ladies that are also learning the women in the community, right? Yes. I'm just going to say something very simple. Like, it's been mind-blowing, to be honest. See, when God wants to do something, he goes all out. You get? So, it has... Ha! Huh, Chineke. It has impacted me. In, like, over the past one week or so, I had to grow times 10. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mentally, emotionally, as in it has changed you can say me. That again. Do you understand? It has. I'm not even. I'm not joking. It's not because of this thing. I'm telling you the fact. It has really changed me. And, and, and you understand the difference between fiat, inflationary paper money fiat, and, and Bitcoin. I over understand it. See, as I said like before, I was not wise. Giving my money in these banks every small thing because my money is a bit dumb. Da, 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 da. I never, it seems to pain me. I was always, what kind of rubbish is this? I thought, okay, for this. <laughs> you know? I love this story. <laughs> I was always angry because why? I work hard for my money. Nobody, the, nobody dashes me. I'm working hard for my money. So why should somebody just come and be deducting and whatever? Mm -hmm. So as for me, as I did like this, eh? whenever, because I do save and all that, any money I want to say, Bitcoin straight, and I'm so happy with the uh, 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 women that came today from the community. Like, we're moving on the same frequency. Yes, I love understand that. what's I going love that. on. And and, and that's know? what and that's what I'm trying to tell people. Like, the moment you discover Bitcoin education, it exposes you to life. You see beyond the ordinary. The pains that fiat bring to you, you know, seizes you from. I mean, it seizes you. From from seeing the opportunity, it, it, it blocks your mind, blindfolds you from, yeah. from seeing the bigger picture because you will always dwell in the inflationary environment of fiat. But once you see that, once you put your money in Bitcoin, it strengthens that money. Exactly. Uh, it, it, it can, firstly, you can take that money anywhere in the world. Mm. Nobody's going to take out of it for an SMS charge. Mm. They will not say, ah, oh, you're keeping your money here. <laughs> so that one's there. Yeah. And, Volatility is vitality in BTC, so yeah. in Bitcoin, and and overall, it stores the value of that money that you put in there. Because mm -hmm. you mentioned inflation, putting your money in the bank, and I'm very happy. I'll tell you something. You are leading the community rightly, and I want to put it live in front of everybody as we round up the show that the Nigerian women community, Bitcoin, Nigerian women Bitcoiners community is. The community to join be a part of mm -hmm. the objectives are, are awesome i think i'll bring being to another time so that we can talk extensively about this you have last few words what, what would you say to encourage people when it comes to learning about money through bitcoin education and and then being a part of um the nigerian women community uh women bitcoiners community uh, knowing well that they will get some of this you know m motivational uh fortright feel that I'm that I'm getting here as not only Gen Z I'll be millennial but I'm feeling you you know what I mean but I think we have just about 30 seconds for you to run that because we got to go out 
okay so all the money you're keeping or whatever in 2030 is not going to mean anything so i'm just trying to say that you're going to be poor you understand so help you help yourself join the community learn bitcoin serve god first and then learn bitcoin thank you very much Ew. Thank you very much. That's the end of Das. I love this show. I love Bitcoin. It puts you on a range of path to success. We could have yeah. taken more Nigerian women Bitcoin as community members, but you know, we had a Bitcoin halving event. A lot of people are tired. So shout out to the people who are behind the camera. Thank you. Thank you, my 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 producer. Uh congratulations again. The Bitcoin halving was a successful event till another four years 2028 20, another 210,000 block i'll see you there mm? will you be there would you have bought enough bitcoin to secure your future I'll see you next week same time Binta, thank you for coming huh thank you very much give me five ah your spirits now different spirits only goals and motivation god bless you i gotta go thank lua shegun it's my name and um the show is digital as a show Thank you. See you on the other side.